Hey there YouTube, welcome back to another black powder video, uh, or black powder update rather. Um, today um, is basically the end uh, for the 2nd Brigade of the 3rd Netherlands. Uh, I basically had um, two units, or two things to do for it, um, the artillery and the brigade commander. Uh, so I basically uh, ended up doing them more or less both together. Uh, so um, uh, uh, I kind of decided that I'm going to do two separate videos, um, two obviously shorter videos rather than one longer one. So let's go straight ahead and uh, introduce uh, the Brigade Commander here. Now I decided to do him first, um, but I'm not sure if I'll actually publish him first, he might come second. So uh, if he's not first in the video line then it doesn't really make too much difference. But um, normally I like to put the Brigade Commander at the very end because he's kind of like the last element of the, uh, the actual Brigade. So this chap is uh, Major General A K J G de Aubream. Quite a quite a mouthful. Uh, I, I haven't actually searched to see if I could find his uh, his his uh, initials. Um, I'm probably sh I'm sure you probably could if you looked around. Uh, but that's quite a mouthful there. Um, now let, this uh, figure is a front rank. I think he's a front rank. He could possibly be a Dutch, a Dutch general. I'm not 100 percent sure, um, because I, I I did remember um, coming ac across the fact that uh, front rank did actually do um, one Dutch, like generic Dutch uh, high-ranking officer, um, and I think I picked. I think this is the guy because um, he is, um, in, for all intents and purposes. Uh, in uh, full regulation uh, Dutch gear, um, and I think the French uh, commander uh, that I've got left, brigade commander, which will be for the first. Um, I think he's actually a French uh, French figure uh, initially, because uh, I remember having a a blank spot for this guy uh, when I when I was sort of trying to get my uh, commanders in in hand. So uh, let's get going, and uh, we'll get get in, give you a closer look. Now, obviously. Uh, the way that I base my commanders, brigade commanders are generally uh, on their own um, base. Um, I, I generally, I very rarely put extra figures on to a brigade commander's base, um, unless I have a particular, you know, like a, a particular little diorama in mind. Um, so this is just a bog standard, um, or in my my idea anyway, a bog standard sort of brigade commander, um, a single mounted figure uh, on a um, a flashier, a flashier base um, in comparison to what the, the, the sort of battalions normally end up with, um, and I think he, uh, I think overall he, he turned out pretty good. Now I'll obviously zoom in and give you a closer look at him in a second, um, but there's a quick spin around from afar. Now we'll actually uh, bring him up to the camera, and I'll just adjust the light uh, to give you a good shot. So here we have the uh, figure himself. Um, I've given him a sort of a bog standard um, sort of bay horse, which, which uh, the Dutch seem to have a lot of. Um, as you can see, I, I kind of went a little trail through the middle of some sort of uh, brush, um, and I actually uh, got my sort of gr green flock uh, out uh, to mix them with my normal flock uh, today to, to make it look as if he's in a sort of a, um, a perhaps a slightly lusher field than. The sort of more barren fields I generally have my battalions m marching across um, so as you can see uh, the uniform is pretty basic basic to a um, a major general um, which is called the red facings and the with the gold braiding um, the thick gold braiding around the cuffs and also around the collar and uh, gold uh, bullion epaulets with three uh, silver stars um, adorned, which I have actually put on, although you can't really see them to tell the truth. Um, you kind of can see them uh, off camera, um, but obviously metallics and metallics kind of blend into each other on camera. Plus, it's it's um, the window in front of me is is quite con uh, sort of uh, got a lot of condensation on at the moment, so it's kind of blocking the light a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how he turned out, and uh, that's the brigade commander. Um, I found out that the uh, basically um, with uh, when it comes to sort of um, major generals, depending on where he came from, um, if if they have silver epaulets 
then they'll have a gold shabrack, and if they have a gold epaulettes, then they have a silver shabrack, um, which is something that I didn't, uh, I wasn't really sure of before. So you're always you're always learning uh, new stuff. So that's that's the end. I hope you enjoyed it, and catch me uh, momentarily uh, for the next one. Um, like I say, and it, it, this video could end up second or it could end up first. Uh, who knows? Uh, but either way, uh, that's the end of this video, and I'll catch you. Uh, next time. Bye-bye.